everything in this bag has been working my last nerve. I finally get to say after this video, goodbye, bye bye. Sayonara, arrivederci. Enjoy being in the trash can. My first product is from the brand Studio Makeup. This is an item that came from my BoxyCharm and it's a hyaluronic acid serum. I'm like, great, I just finished my ordinary serum. Perfect timing and I can just incorporate this into my morning skincare routine. Every time I use this, I would get like a, I hate to say burning because it wasn't like a strong, but it just felt like a sensation, like something was there and the skin just in this region was just flaking and peeling off. Mm -mm. Then I stopped and it went away. So, no. Nope. Next is a deluxe size sample from Rare Beauty, always an optimist illuminating primer. It just went right into the trash can. <laughs> it knew, it knew it was gonna go. Let me fish this out. Now, you know, I love me some Rare Beauty, but just like any brand, there's gonna have products you know, that are just straight up trash, okay? What's wrong with this is there is noticeable little chunks of glitter, particles, something is in here. Something is in here. And on my skin tone, it's very apparent because, you know, I have darker skin. So maybe if you have fairer skin tones, you may not see something. This is a lot I put on, so I'm just like, you know, Tin Man. Once it's on the skin, okay, I can see it, like gathered chin around this area. I would just wear it as a regular primer. I'm not putting this much on, but I could see it. Then when I would put foundation on top, it's as if the foundation would emphasize these little shimmer particles. Mm -mm. Nope, 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 nope. Next is a another deluxe size sample, but it came in with a milk makeup order. This is their highlighting stick. It's in the shade Flash. So I was all excited, okay, because I don't have a highlighting stick from, you know, milk, and I love me some milk makeup. So I just, you know, took the cap off, and then I take this plastic piece off. Let me get my little spatula here. Where are you at? And it just came right off. So, you know, it's faulty. So I said, okay, well, then I'll just use the product. Whatever's left in here, I'll use. Uh-uh. I'm so glad I just continued to do a little bit of investigation here. The shimmer that's in this product, I'm smoothing it out on my palm here. It's, again, it's chunky. So this is the part that was left over for me to use, okay? I like the color, but see, I don't even know if the camera's gonna show it, but can you see like these little tiny silver flecks in there? They're just really small. Well, that becomes quite noticeable on my skin tone. So again, this is like a heavier swatch. This is the, the piece that kind of broke off, but I could see the bronze and this big old fleck of silver and then a bronze i'm like you can't put no gold flecks in here i mean what is with silver i don't want to see any type of silver in a bronze copper type of product my preference for any type of a, a liquid highlighter a stick highlighter too it needs to have this realistic glow i don't want any type of chunks here and there and spaciness i'm you know i'm pretty picky about that so no that that's going out in the trash next is a brow product from maybelline this is the brow fast sculpt it's the gel mascara how can you mess up gel mascara in clear okay how can you mess this up maybelline but you did Okay, I, I was already using it from the time I bought it, which was recent until the day where I just took it out and it was just water. I mean, I'm surprised I couldn't go like this and all this dribble dribble didn't come out. It is straight water on my brows. 
just, I can feel the wetness and it's a lot. I said, I don't know what's up with you. But you just, the formula just suddenly turned into this very thin liquid mess. Mm -mm. I think I'm done with Maybelline's brow products. I have one that is like a staple for me, their brow uh, pencil, very thin, but otherwise I'm just done at it. I'm not enticed anymore and I'm, I'm not, I'm just not eager. Tart is next. This is their Man Eater Plumping Gloss. Now this came in my box of charm. So I got two because uh, there are different colors. One came one month, and then the following month I got another one. So I was like, ooh, a plumping gloss. Oh, I love me a plumping gloss. I, I know they're meant to give that sensation and to plump your lips. I mean, I know I already got big enough lips. I don't care. I want lips to just be as big as my face. I don't care. I don't even smell anything where it would be like, red alert, red alert, don't put me on, nothing. Put this on. No sooner did I finish and put it back inside the tube, my lips were on fire. I say it like that. We're talking fire. And I was like, okay, may maybe the sensation will go down. Uh-uh. It kept just going and going. I'm looking at my watch. I'm like, do I need to time you, Tart? Do I need to time how long? This is gonna stay burning on my lips. I might as well have stuck my lips on top of my uh, burner in the kitchen, just went, you know, set my darn lips on fire. It was that strong. So it was, it was creeping five minutes. I said, I can't, I can't take this anymore. I don't, I, I don't know how long this is gonna go on. So I took it off, okay? Shocked, I still had lips left. Skin, right? It just didn't melt like some darn acid. And then I put like, um, I believe just a regular lip balm on. The sensation was still there. It felt like it took a good hour. It probably wasn't that long, but for my lips just to feel normal again, just took that one time. Well, so it says wraps color, high shine color, lips feel pillow, soft, never stick. You see how, how are you getting any of this moisturizing and all this when my lips are on fire, literally on fire. I expected more from you, Tart. The clean, natural, you know, basic makeup. And you want to come pull, give me something, give me something like that. YSL. YSL is next. Lash Clash Mascara. Okay, so this was given to me uh, through Influencer. I think that's the company's name. You know, they send you makeup. Look how beautiful th this is. Like, she, she's coming to play in her little black dress. She got her little, you know, barbed wire looking um, gold going on here. You know, she come, she come into the party to play. See how everything looks on the brush? That's how your lashes will look, but worse. This is the most clumping mascara I have ever used, ever. And I thought Maybelline Spider Mascara was clumpy. This is clumpy. You build and you build and it just gets worse and worse and worse. They should just be ashamed of themselves. You think that just by, you know, your your name alone, YSL, you soon along, that this is worth the price. This is worth, oh, I got to have this. It just looks beautiful on the desk, but that's it. There's no, there's no brain inside. There's no, there's nothing. It's like, I can see right through, it's hollow. No, no, you gotta have something inside. You gotta have some substance. This is just terrible. Bare Minerals is next. This is their foundation stick. This is the Complexion Rescue. I have the shade Cinnamon 10.5. This would actually be staying here, right here, if it wasn't for the fact that the glue that they use to, you know, hold everything in place, the actual container here, the glue is in the cap, you know, it's dried, but I mean, just smelling, I can smell the glue, that chemical, okay? 
Then the glue is around the cap itself, okay? Then you swivel the stick up. The glue is all around the product there. So when I use it, all I get is glue, glue, glue. And I'm thinking it's on my skin, the glue. I mean, is it there to help, you know, like a grip product, like hydro grip? Oh, are we going to put glue on our faces now? Is that the new trend, TikTok trend? Let's put the glue on our face and put the foundation on. It's, it's just, you know, it's a strong chemical, you know, high octane glue. This was the second stick, because the first one I got, I took it back. I said, look at this. So it gave me a new stick. I get home. I should have looked at it in the store. I get home, and then, you know, here we go. So I don't know. Is it every batch has this, this nonsense going on? It's, it's going in the trash. M Cosmetics is next. This is the uh, Liquid Dew Blush. I believe that's the exact title here. I don't actually see it, but I have Cherry Splash and sense, uh, Sunset Sky. So Sunset Sky was my first one I got. I forgot how I how I got this. Maybe it was in my box jar. I don't remember how I got it. But I thought because the color was a little bit lighter, and, you know, I'm putting it on and I'm thinking, is, 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 do I, how many times I need to build this? Is that a, da, 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 you know, la, 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 la. That in BoxyCharm, you know, the little store, I went and I got Cherry Splash. How are you going to mess up a deep red, right? I'm thinking, okay, perfect. I'll just wear the two together. There, There's so much building that needs to be done with this blush in order to get it to show on the skin, period. However, if you are pale, if you've got fair skin, it's, it's not that hard, okay? I have a pale skin friend. She, she said I, I can call her pale on uh, on film. These are going to her. And she's, uh, believe me, her hand is already, did, did you film it? Did you film it? So I can just go, exactly, here you go. You get to play with it now. Have fun. The texture of this is, at the end of the day, it is just, it literally feels oilier and stickier than what it's marketed as. Now, of course, no company is going to be up there in their, you know, little YouTube video or whatever and say, buy our oily, sticky product. You know, they're going to be... Oh, it's lightweight. You just build it up. That, that, that. <clears throat> There's a YouTube video where it's it's showing that. You can just, you know, dot, dot, dot. But you're dotting it on the face already with all this makeup on. You need to come out behind the, the little curtain with no makeup on. Then pick up the product and put it on your face. I don't want to see no dot, dot, dot on already skin that has blush on. That's not doing anything. Okay? That's that's not helping me at all. Last is makeup wipes from Clean and Clear. This is the cleansing wipes, watermelon, oil-free, hydrate, slipped away dirt and makeup. How are you going again, how are you going to mess up wipes? How are you going to mess this up? Ugh. The smell is a stronger watermelon which Okay, granted, I don't, I can't stand watermelon. Okay, I do, mm -mm. I don't hang with watermelon, okay? I suffer in silence when it's summer. It doesn't have anything to do with scent though. It's the texture of this cloth. It's the liquid. Put it this way. Pretend you have something that like, you're deathly afraid of. I, I, the first thing that comes to mind, like a lot of people don't like snakes, okay? Picture a snake going around you and everything, that, that feeling, you know, on your skin and you're just about ready to just, you know, go, freak out, right? That's what this does to me. 
there is this film that just, I, I couldn't even really get the makeup off because I couldn't take the feeling of it anymore. I don't know what's in there. It, it, it's a cross between being slimy and just very unpleasant. Okay, and even the, the, the cloth itself, it's, I, I don't know what it is. I just have this, this reaction that way to the wipes. I, I, I can't keep them. I can't keep them for that reason alone. Granted, you take the makeup off and then, you, you know, I'll go ahead and wash my face. I should be able to take it, right? Uh-uh, it was just that, it was just too much for me. I've never reacted to a makeup product like that. I've never reacted to a cleaning product like that before. That's first time for everything, but I can't take it anymore. Yeah, it is a little bit more stronger watermelon than I remember. It's probably getting me back. You know, talk mess about me. I'll make it a little bit stronger for you. <laughs> See if that help? Yeah, okay, that helped get rid of the smell. So, um, in the trash it goes, right? I'm done. It all goes in the trash. I'm so happy. Just wanted to share with you those items. Arrivederci. <laughs> Thank you everyone for stopping by and watching. I do appreciate you spending some time with me. Have a wonderful day, wonderful evening, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.